The suspect in the Charlottesville attack made his first court appearance today. James Fields faces a murder charge for now, but he could face more charges if the Justice Department finds this a case of domestic terrorism. Correspondent Brian Todd reports. The police they staged a bomb fight and you lost! Boiling tensions outside the courthouse in Charlottesville as the man suspected of driving his car into a crowd of protesters after a white supremacist rally was charged with second degree murder. Inside court, James Fields, the 20 year old suspect, appeared by video link, now held without bond on multiple charges. New details tonight about Fields, the man allegedly behind the wheel in this horrific video. Authorities say he rammed his Dodge Challenger into a crowd of people, killing a 32-year-old woman, injuring 19 others. CNN has learned Fields recently moved to this apartment complex in Maumee, Ohio. He told the judge he works at a security firm, makes $650 every two weeks, and couldn't afford a lawyer. A picture now emerging of a troubled young man with strong white supremacist views, according to those who knew him. He had some very radical views on uh, race. Um, he was very infatuated with uh, the Nazis, with Adolf Hitler. Um, he also had a huge military history, especially with like German military history uh, in World War II. Um, but he was pretty infatuated with that stuff. He did mention what is Albright. Fields' mother says she knew her son was traveling to Virginia, but was unclear on the reason. I didn't know it was white supremacist. I thought it had something to do with Trump. Fields enlisted in the Army in August 2015, according to documents obtained by CNN. He reported for basic training, but was soon released from active duty, quote, due to a failure to meet training standards in December of 2015. As a result, he was never awarded a military occupational skill, nor was he assigned to a unit outside of basic training. A motive isn't yet clear. But according to a Justice Department official close to the investigation, federal investigators may have gathered enough evidence to suspect the accused driver wanted to send a message. Well, it does meet the definition of de domestic terrorism in our statute. We are pursuing it when the Department of Justice, uh, in every way that we can make it, make a case, uh, you can be sure we will uh, charge and advance uh, the investigation toward the most serious charges that can be brought because this is an un unequivocally unacceptable and evil attack that cannot be accepted in America. And according to a Justice Department source, investigators are looking into whether Fields may not have acted alone. The thing that they will look at is not just who was driving the car, but who was helping that person, who was an accomplice to this, who was behind this. Uh, and it'll be a wide scope investigation, as it should be. That was Brian Todd reporting. Even though James Field said he could not afford a lawyer, the judge said he could not appoint a public defender for him. That's because a relative of someone at the public defender's office was affected by Saturday's violence in Charlottesville. The judge did appoint a different attorney for Fields.